Hello everybody, this is David from goldstartool.com and uh, today I'm gonna show you uh, some of the accessories that come with uh, industrial single needle sewing machine. Now, this one that I'm opening is the one for Juki 55550N, but they're all the same. All the boxes for 8700 or 8700H and new tech all of them have the same thing in the box. I'm gonna show you what comes in the accessory box because we get many calls, even though we have them written all over. We have many, many, many calls. What comes in it, what doesn't come with it, so we'll show you. So when you get the machine, you get them in three boxes. You get the head, you got the table and legs, and you get the motor. Inside the table, inside the head, you're gonna have the head, which is here, this head, and you're gonna get this, okay? Now, I'm gonna show you what comes inside the box. Inside the box comes the oil pan, which you put the oil in there, okay? You get the oil for oil pan. You get the cover. You get the owner's manual. Now this one is Juki DDL 5550N. If you buy 8700, it would be 8700. H would be H, new take would be new, new take. You get the bobbin winder, that's the manual that goes on the side of the machine. You get the knee lifter. Okay, three assembled already. Okay. You get the wheel or pulley for the machine. You get the rubber cushions, the hinges. And I'm gonna show you where it goes. You get the thread stand, unassembled. You get some screwdriver, needles, magnet. Some people say I couldn't find the magnet inside this box. You get the uh, pin to rest the head, and you get the thread guide. Okay, now, I'm gonna start and show you what happens, where everything goes. Let me change. So, when you receive the table, when you put the machine in there, the table is gonna have a hole. This pin, goes in there, which is the one that comes in the box. All right? You just push it down, you don't need to do anything. These three holes are for the motor. You'll know what it is. You're gonna get this thread guide that goes here, okay? Now, when you get the thread guide, just put it down and hammer it once or twice. It's not a screw on, it's very tight, it'll go in and you see, it get tied up, so you don't have to do anything. People tell me, hey, we don't have the magnet. It's impossible, the magnet is in there, and I tell you what is it for, I told you many times, I'm gonna tell you again, it's gonna go down here. Do we have enough light? Can you guys see? The magnet is here, see you already have a magnet, here. So that's the magnet. You have a couple of bobbins, you have the screw, and these are the screws for the bobbin winder, okay? But I'm not gonna use this, I don't like using this, I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna use. This is the umbrella, the umbrella goes here, in this hole. Umbrella goes here. This makes the foot go up and down. When you move your knee, knee lifter, you see it goes up and down. Very nice, so I'm gonna put everything back. So we're done with this box package, okay? Now, the oil pan goes in here, very simple, you see? It could come up, easy. The oil pan goes here. The corner that I just told you about, these corners go in the front, to front, and you have also these cushions that comes inside the box. Go for one here, 
one to the side. Now, if you see your sewing machine is up and down, you don't need to use them. You could just leave them on, you could adjust them. Now, in the back, if you could show the back, you're gonna get these hinges that goes in the back. And you see, I'm gonna lift this and bam, that's how it is. This one in here, this one in here, and then you have a couple of nails or maybe three or four nails that goes and secures the rubber hinge in the back, both. The same thing. Again, I'm not gonna repeat this again. It's all the same for all the sewing machines. The same thing, Juki, New Tech, the same thing. That's done. You're done with the rubber and the cushions and stuff. Very nice. The thread stand, very simple. You get it in seven or eight piece. One, and then you have this, uh, uh, what do you call this? You could, you could, you know, these two pieces go together, attach with this fastener. And that's the way you see it. Screws here, the two thread plate goes here, and it goes through the machine. There is already a hole on the table for your machine, on your machine for this. So it goes in there, and you have a couple of big nuts in the bottom that secures it. This is very important, okay? That you secure it very good, so it won't be moving, okay? Very nice. One goes, to the thread guide here, and one goes to the bobbin one that we're gonna put on right now. Okay, when you receive your machine, you're gonna receive it like this. The pulley inside is gonna be in the box. There are two holes, two screws. Okay, are we good? You see this flat part? One of them goes on that flat part, just pull it in, very easy. Okay, and then get your screwdriver and tie it. Okay, then make sure you do the other side too. Simple. Mm. Again, make sure everything is done. Perfect. There is two of them. Good. Now. The belt is inside the machine also, where the belt cover is. Now, I heard, here is the belt, okay? And if you come down here, please, you see this? There is also a motor cover, but I am just took it out just to show you guys. You're gonna have a belt cover for the motor here too, but I'm just showing you how it's going to be. You put this through here, okay? around the wheel, around the, around the um, pulley, push this back, and bada bing bada bing, go in there, done. All right? You want it to be flexible like this, it's the way you see it. Maybe half an inch give, okay? Size 38, 39, or 40. And I tell you, what you're gonna ask me, why 38, 39, and 40? Here, let's go down here. If you think you have a small or large belt, you could adjust here. You go up, the belt, the motor goes back up for a smaller belt. You need more room, close it all the way to back here, less belt, okay? So, from motor to ball joint down here, that's another video, I think we did a video already for that, all right? You're also gonna get some of the pads, shoes, that goes on the bottom, so it won't uh, ruin your... The floor. The floor. Now, we're gonna come back to the bobbin winder. This is the mechanical bobbin winder that comes with the machine, okay? Remember I told you I don't like the, uh, the screws that comes with the, the reason is because it's so hard to put them on. Now, the way you want this to work out, and I want you to show it from the angle so they could see it. The way this thing works, that this one catches to the belt, and when the belt turns, you see, the wheels turn. And that's how it would wind the bobbin, okay? Now, you want it when it goes like this, you want it to be attaching really good. Now, what I do is, 
I have these screws that I really like that you buy them. We, we include them in our um, package when we ship them out. Okay, I already have already have done this, made the holes a little bit, and you gotta make sure that when it's off, it won't catch the bolt. Put them on. I got my drill. This drill don't come with the machine, by the way. Okay, you see that? When it turns, the bobbin one just turns and turns this, and whenever it's full, goes back. All right, now. You're gonna have this part that we're gonna do. By the way, LED lamps, as always, we are the original people that came up with the idea of servo motor and LED lamps and everybody in the industry is following us because we believe in green, new generation, saving electricity, you know, yes. saving earth, right? Very nice. Okay, so you're gonna have one, two, and this bag double screw, all included together in one piece. Where do they go? All right. This one goes back here. All right. And this one goes here. Now, I'm gonna tell you how it's gonna go because the belt, all right, is gonna go first like this. So when you're putting that, that one on, see that one? From here, done, done. And I'm gonna tell you how it's gonna be like this. You see this? We just take it out. I'm gonna take it out again. Not force, just jiggle it, right? <laughs> just, and go in there. And sit in there. I didn't break anything. I wanna tell you what is that piece that just came out. All right? And this is in the back. All right, and we're good. Now, I'm gonna take it out. This piece is removable. All right? Now, you're gonna have one, two, three screws here, all right? The two top one, use this. Two big screws, these two. The bottom one that it doesn't have a shaft uses this one. So this one goes to the bottom one with your hand. You don't need no machine. Now there is a small tiny uh, notch here that you could turn it if you want to, but you don't have to. And this to go here, the same way that I put it in. Okay, now this one comes out could do it with your out. Just throw this in there in the on the hole and tie. You don't need to tie them all the way uh, all of them at the same time. Like put them on just at the end tie them and this one you have a tiny, tiny, tiny screw for this one that goes in here. And then this one is a little bit tricky. Are you following? I mean, Jasmine? Yes. The reason I'm showing you this because I want you to, when people call in, 
and they don't know how to do it, you're the one that's gonna answer the phone, okay. right? Yes. So with this one, you gotta look from the back, make sure it's getting, going to the, do you see that tiny screw in the back? So you don't wanna, you don't wanna tie everything up before, you gotta make sure that everything is a little bit loose so you could still change, move this around. And as soon as you put that in there, you tie it like me. You tie this one and then you tie that one. And you tie this one. And then you put this back on. And this one, come back here please. This one right here, make sure it doesn't hit the belt. And I have two screws. Now, this one could go underneath here or stay up, okay? And you get your drill. And now I know you guys at home are much accurate than me. I don't have no patient. Okay. So the reason I'm not using, again, those screws from the one that came with it, with the machine, is because they are not four-sided like this one. They're flat. I want it to be Philips right and that's it and you see now right yes. so when it's sewed goes all the way there and the rest of that stuff you're done you're perfect everything is good that's how you put the thread stand which I didn't put the thread stand on, but that's pretty easy to put on. The guard, the bobbin winder, and how you adjust the motor under, underneath for jukies, for new tech, all the industrial sewing machine. Go to our website, www.goldstartool.com. Like our videos, follow our YouTube channels, uh, share, and let us know what you want us to do next. Thank you for watching.